Hello everyone and welcome back to Valhalla. It it is Mega Christmas now. So let's se uh Mer so Merry Mega Christmas. Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the Mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds. Happy holidays. Sure. We'll go with that. A party then? I'll bring you leftovers. Okay. So I guess I'm not going to have to worry about... Yeah, that's right. It's closed, so I won't have to worry about that. Augmented Eye has stuff. Do I have anything over here? I haven't seen anything here. Grand Slam Fighters. Let's roll. Okay, I don't remember this one. Can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addictive battle system, fun dating mini games, cute girls, that fucking music. Is this the GOAT? Don't know. Do you like the goat girl? Heh. <laughs> I'm going to marry a goat. It's an alright game. 8 out of 10 at most. Shit game. No, it's a shitty game for idiots, uh, for any waifu bots like you. I wish this waifu, e uh, waifu, waifu equals bad game would meme would die. It's a stupid game pandering to idiots. What's there to discuss? Are we being raided by normies? M uh, m normies, fuck off. Uh, fun things are fun. You are not allowed to have the f uh, fun with video games. Sounds fun. It's for nerds. Okay. Invisible guns. I think they'll use it for cute patterns. Uh, release in uh, date. This is the greatest thing I've done. Uh, I literally can't stop touching myself. Wait, what? Is this the Mechan has released EKDV186 update. Oh, it's dangerous opinions. I literally can't stop touching myself. Such a high quality release. But why is it camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for civilian models. Something's off. I'd be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. Now I just think I'm kind of Dis it, dis it. I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too fucking much, much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. I better stop buying so many weapons already or I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff for other civilian civilian weaponry? They said they're going to announce more stuff later dates. I like porn, you guys. Invisible guns, I think they'll use it for cute patterns. Amazing how I know all the words, yet I understand nothing. Grand Sam Fighters, is anyone into wrestling here? I became a huge fan of G uh, GSF very recently. It's a, re a re no, it's a really solid product, in my opinion. Much better than the E. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave importance to the mid-card. Are they still forcing 66 American Kid into the main event? Yep, he's going to face USK in the Dome Show. Uh, why don't they push the great DK instead? He's much more talented than this, than 66. Because American Kid actually moves merch unlike the indie, dar your indie darling. Uh, I want to marry USK. Is there going to be every single one? Who is hyped for the women's championship? That one should be the main event, not the turd we're getting instead. 66 is pretty good. Just watched some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 was better in Japan, but all I see is locks and arm bars. Nothing that impressive. Wrestling is fake. I didn't want to do that. Okay, so I guess I did have something new there. Nope, nothing. Oh, wait, nope. Mega Christmas is here. Mega Christmas is here. Was it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? Don't know. Don't care. I'm way too used to Christmas, but the Mega tradition here is Glitch City is Mega Comfy. I know it's an incredibly absurd name, and the holiday isn't any less crazy due to its origin, but I find it amazing about how GC managed to replace the original festivities. 
Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken, but here they t outright change the holiday. Well, it's not that different considering they have the same dates, but still pretty cool. Whoop, I gotta go. Time to sign some books. Uh, dream person, I think I... Yep, Hunter's Hugger. Thanks, GC. Okay. So, now let's actually read the ones that tell me that there's nothing new. Okay. Little I'm receiving mysterious message update 2. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lilim? Either way, some reports indicate that Lilim behavior has been rather unusual as of late, although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago when Lilim advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time, to, uh, time will tell. Spooky. A bit, yeah. Uh, is it sexist to have an army of robot women? Kenya Vanya, right. Uh, the ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. The king of the west, Kanjai, from the western nation of Kenya Vanya, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like they're the hottest girls around, but is uh, but is this show of quirkiness from the wacky di dictator problematic? Those dictators from Venezuela, or whatever, just do what they want. They don't give a shit. Maria, uh, Mariana Zimmer, 35, told the Augmented Eye during a street interview. Uh, they're all pretty hot, though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can just make them from scratch to match your every needs? More as we investigate. I'm pretty sure Kenya Vinny went through dematerialization before. Yu Uru Yuri is the best show this session. Let's see that. Want to watch it? Anime is for nerds. You're a nerd. Okay. If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to watch a The Moe shirts this season with the premiere of Yuru Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've ever seen in recent years. The pals at the popular Danger You forum seem to be seem to divided. They seem to divided. I think it's supposed to be a B in there. However, this is such an obvious pandering. Remember when anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. I'm going to marry Shinatsu. Seriously? Wake me up inside. Uh, you can catch you well, YY every Friday on RSTV. Okay, so... There's nothing for me to shop for, so go to work. Sunday, December 25th. I was not expecting to actually be behind the bar. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place by uh, back, place back there. Oh, Alma's here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill. Greet her properly. Welcome to Vault Hall. Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up. It's, be uh, it's become a reflex. Wait, Oma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Ripped sweaters just get a free pass. Why? 
Still question. Uh, silly question. Never mind. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up food, uh, the food warmer. The what? I brought it three days ago. Bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks like just a set of wires, but you can create a flame with them. Put the food inside it, press a button, and watch it as it warms the food up just like a microwave. It's an inf uh, it's an infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you've bought infomercial stuff, too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well... Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. <sighs> Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. You're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. Uh, I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Back. Oh, we had... Both dogs, not just a rad. I forgot what it was. Rad, rad Sheba. We also have um the uh, dog that is also a villain in this, a villains in a uh, spy show. Oh, ah, oh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See, that's how you greet people. You shut it. Dorothy. Uh, I'll go help out, um, uh, I'll go help Sweater Pups. Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. Alright, we're all here, so we can start. Yo. Oh, Anchorage. Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? This is doing well, but I'll take a uh, bit. I'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm, nice, but slowly, or burn that bitch. So how long? Fifteen minutes or so. A bell will ring when it when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. All right, let's play truth or dare. What? I'll pass. Games are for nerds. Uh, no, games are for kids. That's, oh, it's Nacho, that's what his name is. I'm in! Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun! As long as that mutt stays away from me. I'm, I'm not gonna try and say that as one word. That'll make the time pass faster. I'll pet. You'll play. That's not fair, why does a... Uh... Oh wow, look at these little... Oh, it's... Okay, I just want to point out... Happy, happy, uh, maybe happy, happy, dog face, Jill. It's just Jill. Alright then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle, just... Uh, issue new ones, or uh, just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes? You start. Pick someone. Oh, um, let's see. Click on a portrait of the person you want to pick. Oh, wow, I actually get to choose somebody here. Uh, look, I'm, I'm just gonna have to pick my favorite, my favorite one here. Well then, Dorothy. 
Yes! Truth or dare? Let's go with truth. Jill picked Dorothy, who chose truth. Is there anything you have rejected from clients? Those who want to roleplay with mutilation. Huh. I mean, sure, I can take off my uh, limbs with no problem. I have to do that for maintenance every now and again. But I'm not okay with doing it for clients, because first, that leaves me defenseless, which I cannot allow by, my, by any means. And second, half of the time, the roleplay involves a violent scenario. And there are some behaviors I won't reinforce, namely non-consensual violence of any kind. Interesting. Good work on you, Dor or Dorothy. Alright then, my turn. You, sweater pups. Me? Truth or dare? Um, dare? Dorothy picked Alma, who chose dare. I like how it actually tells me right over here. Man, you're brave. Or stupid. Okay, I want you to say in the most sultry voice you can muster, admin override. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> admin override. Happy? Yes, very. Seems you caused some collateral damage here. Hmm? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't mind me. Seriously, guys? Well, let's see. You, the dog. My name is... Yeah, whatever. I want you to bark. Which, but technically... I haven't picked Dare. I said bark. <laughs> I asked you not to do it, not say it. Bark barking. Hey, if I bark, then I'm uh, I'm the king of the bar because I'm barking. <laughs> Seriously, Jill? Yeah, yeah. I have a lame sense of humor. Whatever. All right, my turn. Hey, Jay. Truth or dare? Oh shit. Um, dare. Okay. Oh, so I don't actually choose that. I just get to choose people afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna... Then, pet me. I'll pick truth. Okay, why are your nails so thin? <laughs> no, Shane's over here. My, eh? Your nails. You won't be able to dig with some uh, such flimsy nails. Um, all humans have nails like these. Wait, they do? How do you dig? With shovels. You guys are weird. Why are you so reluctant to pet him? Call it a gut feeling. I wonder how long until the food is done. Pick a portrait of a person you want to pick. Uh, Donna, uh, Dana. Okay, it might be Dana. By the way, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to spell how to pronounce how Dana is pronounced. Should I pick her or that? I already picked Dorothy, so I don't want to pick Dorothy again. Uh, Alma's already been picked, so I'm gonna go with her. All right, boss, pick. Truth me. How did you get your arm? On second thought, dare me. Lift Gil by the neck of his shirt. Okay. Eh? Wah! Happy? I guess. Who cares? I didn't hear about your arm. I do. I care. All right, Gil, now that I have you in this position, answer me. I didn't pick! You're in no position to pick! Now answer! <laughs> Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess that rules out a couple of possibilities. Um, Chief? What? Oh, right. I'm still lifting you. Sorry. And now she apologizes. I guess it's my turn. Hey, Alma, truth or dare? Okay, uh, um, hmm, hmm, dare. Oh, oh, I have a suggestion. You stay quiet. Fine. Hmm, how strong are those arms of yours? It's still my muscles under them, so not very. Although, not having fleshy skin makes things easier. Wait, so she has partially robotic arms, I guess? Wait, that's truth, not dare. 
I just wanted to make sure. I dare you to break these nuts with your hands. Okay. Well, that was easy. Holy shit, Gil. Are you really into that? Eh? Asking a woman to break a nut in her hands and then watching her eat it, does that turn you on? Eh? Wait, wait. Is that an actual thing that turns guys on? I need to know for professional reasons. <sighs> You're a pervert, Gilbert. Gil- Wait, that was cl uh, that was close to this time. Okay. My turn then. All right. Hey, Jill, pick. Um, truth. Okay then. What's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Um, elaborate. For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess in a way I accomplished that, but you understand. I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Huh? When I was a child, I liked this show called Lucia's Funhouse. The uh, one with the woman in the house with the, to oh, the talking stuff? That one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. But Mom was on tour with an orchestra and my dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time w uh, with my grandpa and he slept a lot, so I was on my own most of the time. I like to pretend things like chairs and beds would talk, and since AI wasn't so advanced back then... Anyway, I went to a magic show once and there was this guy making a puppet talk. My dad told me he, uh, he was a ventriloquist, so I kind of... Uh, so I kind of obsessed about wanting to be one. Even today, I'd be lying if I said that I don't think about it every now and then. So that's why you pretend four can talk. She what? Nothing. I'm getting hungry. Okay, so I picked her, I picked her. I, dev I, I have picked those two over here. I'm not going to pick Shiva. Sorry, Shiva. I can't pick myself, go figure. So Gil and Alma were the ones I haven't picked. Alma's been picked a lot. Gillian's been only picked once. Dane has been only picked once. I'm going to pick Dorothy again. Just because I can. Okay then, Dorothy. Dare! Do something freaky. Like removing my head? Removing your... Because I can remove my head with no problem. Do you want me to remove my head? I'll pass. I'll take your word for it. And you want to see that? No. No, thank you. I do, but I'm not going to be the party pooper here. <laughs> Fine. I guess it's my turn now. I kind of wanted to see that, but they're not going to show it. Hey, Dana, what do you pick? I'll pick Truth. If you had to marry Honey or John, who would you pick? Honey or... Oh, these two. Right. John. Hmm. Probably Jill. Eh? I mean, she's cute. She's smart. And I kind of own Gil anyway, so it's kind of redundant. <laughs> Speaking of Gil, truth or Dale, fuck boy? Pick one for me. Well, where were you born? I don't really know. It's one of those things I can't remember or was never informed about. Strangely, I do remember an early childhood in the Arctic of all places. The Arctic, huh? Just, huh? A bell? Food's ready. Finally! Let's go! You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful! Oh, almost following. Oh, what's kind of when Dorothy would follow. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey! Oh, uh, uh, I'll... I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Maker Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that... Da Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has helped me m keep my mind off things for a while. Uh, 
Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Kat Katyasha? Or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types? I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war. Going to war, I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back! Oh, come on! Okay. Oh, here's the... Well, so that's what the moon looks like right now. Well. Okay. Um, is anything happening? There we go. Why is this so slow? Is this... Hey, there's four. Okay, this is interesting. What's going on here? Oh, I'm in the next chapter. Chapter three. Dulce. I think it means three. Or maybe something else. I'm going to get an achievement soon, I'm sure. And it will tell me what it means. We got a, we had a cutscene. Uh, time to make streets to change lives. That's my achievement. Okay. Oh wow! I need ten thousand dollars this time. Rent is due on the thirtieth. Please make sure your account has the necessary ten thousand dollars, or you'll be evicted. Jill wants to see if the Alex doll's beard actually grows. Finding will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice, have a nice day. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Sh shut up. Okay, so there we go. Well, we have a bit of a shorter episode, go figure, because we didn't have anyone to work with on that, so I'll go ahead and just end the episode there. Hey, we got two new things, but this one actually is telling me that it's up to something new despite the last time. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time.